Hi, uh, in this episode I want to fix one little thing. Uh, you remember when you open the application on the iPhone, it, it's like in vertical position, it doesn't fill the whole screen obviously because it's a horizontal game. If you rotate, it sort of works in Safari, uh, but it doesn't work if you save it to the home screen. I mean, it, it, it sort of works, but lead to weird, like big, white, uh, empty areas because the scale changes, something like that. So uh, what I wanted to fix is just to make it uh, vertical, basically, when um, when you open in vertical position. So we just rotate everything, right? And that will like uh, tell the user that it has to rotate as well. So uh, the way to do that is I, I might as well show you one little trick here. So the way to do that is we have scale, right? We have scale here. And I want to write a function that does that's this um, window dimension and it basically does this so that w is this is this is high and then if if we be in a vertical position we return higher than this otherwise we return with high right so this is window dim. Uh, window dim, window dim right? I want to pass that to scale so that we don't have to know that here. Also use windows. So instead of here, we already have it calculated from window dim, right? So you don't access this JavaScript property multiple time, times because it might be expensive or what. So yeah, this is W, this is H. And now, so now if you do that, and let's go to scale as well. Scale. Let me move scale down there. And so it's after that. And scale receives window dim. And it's actually just uh, just using this Okay, I don't need those. Uh, so yes, if I save, let's see, it compiles. It compiles, great. So the idea is, for, for now it works as before, right? Oh no, it doesn't. What? No, now it's strange. Um, if this is wait, is it a function or is it? A, do I have to call it a function? No. Or do I? No, it's not a function. Okay, so why isn't it working? Scale window dimensions. Oh, because, oh, of course, because I, I have to do this. I, I have a special data structure for dimensions, specifically. Yes, yes. So it doesn't doesn't rotate yet. So uh, how do we figure out uh, if you have to rotate? So if you, if you do that, it doesn't rotate yet, but it uses the wrong uh, width and height, right? So because they swapped. So, and I want to return this dim because we already have the dimension, right? So I don't want to return anything else, like extra argument or something. So I'm going to use metadata on it. And metadata will be rotate true. Like this. Okay, so basically the same data structure, but if you look at in meta, we will find that we have to rotate. And here we have to check for that. If rotate meta window dim, if you have to rotate, we do one thing, otherwise, we do the other thing. Uh, the thing that we have to do is more or less we also need to string, but there, there are going to be multiple, uh, multiple transformations. The first one is rotate, right? So rotate by 90 degrees. If we do that. We see nothing because it uh, it's on the left. So we have to translate as well. So uh, translate. 
and to translate we have to translate uh, so rotate uh, when 80 degrees is clockwise so we have to translate up now which is right I, I, it probably will be clearer if i just show you what's going on like this right and we have to go up uh, so we translate zero minus two pixels 100 pixels yeah, so we have to go up for the height of the screen, which is H, but already scaled, so we reduce the scale, so scaled, so this uh, minified scale, yeah. and we save, like this, let's see, yeah, and now it fits like almost perfectly, right, and if we scroll up, at some point, when we reach square, it switches to horizontal layout. And in this layout, it will tell the user uh, that it, it has to, to rotate. Let's see if it works for iPhone screen. Let me enable iPhone screen here. And yeah, and let's refresh. Okay, yeah, and, it, and it's already in correct orientation. If I rotate, it does what you expect it to do. So it, it shouldn't be like seamless, but I don't think you can do it seamlessly on iPhone, but it's almost seamless. So this is what I wanted to do, and I think I got it working. Let me close it so we return to normal orientation. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.